It's an unusual sight on the streets of Kabul. A white stretch limousine negotiating its way through the traffic and potholes. Five of them now work in the Afghan capital, all tied to the booming wedding business. Every day our limousines are busy. Without a limousine, a wedding is not a wedding in Kabul at the moment. The roads are bad. The cars have to go really slow. But I'm happy to bring something different to my country. The car is decorated before it heads off to pick up the bride, the groom and a large wedding party. At $120 a night, the family want to make sure they get their money's worth. In the time of the Taliban, Kabul only had one wedding hall. Tables and chairs were not allowed. Music was banned. Now, parts of the Afghan capital look like Las Vegas as wedding halls get bigger and brighter, trying to attract what is a lucrative trade. But behind the lights and the glamour, Afghan weddings are deeply traditional. Most are still arranged by parents, and men and women celebrate separately. Pictures of the bride by outsiders are not allowed. Abdul Wahid Amiri has grown up in Canada but came home to be married. The family I have here, I don't have anywhere else. So when I came here, it's like it's a whole new thing for me to see the family and everything. And what sort of money have you spent on this today? Yeah, that's uh, difficult to answer because all expenses, but I, do, I, I didn't calculate it exactly how much because uh, the hall is very expensive and uh, the, exp the expense here, you know, that now is very higher, but that's okay. The glamour and expensive weddings is a break from real life in Kabul, where few have electricity or running water. With extended families, 400 people would be considered a small wedding. Feed them, then add in flowers, transport, the dress, new clothes and the band, and of course the venue, there's little change from $20,000. Our people are very hard working. They work really hard to raise the money to afford a big wedding celebration. They don't want to celebrate without their friends. These weddings may be a big change from Afghanistan's immediate past, but after all, this is a celebration about today and the future. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Kabul.